simple harmonic motion versus circular motion. We have already alluded to the fact that they are related by the fact that we have something called angular frequency in simple harmonic motion and angular velocity in circular harmonic motion. And you can see here the relationship between the two. On the left, you have an object in circular motion. On the right, you have an object in simple harmonic motion. And you can see that they are clearly related. I'm not going to go through all the equations, but you should be aware that these two are related. For example, when you look on the right, this red arrow designates the velocity of the object in simple harmonic motion. On the left, we have the object in circular motion. This blue arrow represents the y component of the velocity of the object in circular motion. And notice that the blue arrow and the red arrow are the same. They have the exact same value throughout. Because an object in circular motion, when viewed from the side, is an object in simple harmonic motion. Which is why a lot of the terms we use in circular motion and the terms we use in simple harmonic motion are very similar. Because as you can see, they are definitely <laughs> okay, I'll do it one more time. <laughs> we'll talk a little bit more about it. So here we have. Uh, so here you can see the red arrow here represents the tangent velocity of the object in circular motion, which is constant. It never changes. But just the y component is the one that changes, which is the same as the velocity of the symbol. You can do the same thing with an object. You've done another object down here for the x component of the velocity here. Yes, ma'am. So if, if, for example, you looked at this as a record player, you guys know what a record is? Yeah. <laughs> if you looked at this as a record player, and you were to place, or I will go merry-go-round. How about somebody standing on a merry-go-round? And if you were to watch somebody standing on a merry-go-round as they're spinning like this, it would be, look exactly the same as an object in simple harmonic motion that is going back and forth like this, because you would simply see it move in only one plane. 